This is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. 98FM. Daniel, you're on 98FM. How are you, Daniel? What's oh, crack, Adrian? Good. Welcome to Dublin Talks. Who would you like to play our game with, Adrian or Jeremy? Go with you, Adrian. Go with me. All right. You know how it works. The high score wins the voucher from Des Keddies. Um And your time, your one minute starts now. Oh, this is... Um, uh, okay, it's a, it's a type of a cow that has horns. What's he called? A bull. A bull, okay. And this is one that's used uh, for a buck and bronco thing. He's a something bull. A rodeo bull. A rodeo bull is the correct answer. Well done. Here's your next one. Oh, I, um, I don't know who that is. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about you. Give it the give it back, ah, come on. Skip yeah. it. Well, I mean, if you were playing with Jeremy, I'd know exactly well, just who tell it was. Him, go on, no, go on. why should help, I? Help, help. No. Um, uh, uh, you haven't even given me any time here, lads. Come he on. He was the man who adopted the ginger kid, Adrian. He was the man who adopted the ginger kid. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> no, I said Adrian. It, oh, he's nearly named after a coffee shop. What? Is, what? what? He's nearly named after a, a coffee shop. Very similar sounding name. Mr. Costa. No. He's like us. Star- bye, bye, bye. Starbucks. What? Who is that? Who is that? He is the man who adopted the ginger... How many people do you know that have adopted the ginger kid? Um, do you know anybody? Um, well, you're a ginger kid. Were you adopted? No, I wasn't. No, no. you weren't. Who adopted a ginger kid? I don't kid? even know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. It's a hard knock life. The sun will come out tomorrow. Why are you now singing? Oh, my God. What did you do in the 80s? I bet you the next contestant will know who I'm talking about. Alan, do you know who that is that we're talking about? Yeah, the Daddy, Star- Daddy Starbucks. Daddy Starbucks. Daddy Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, oh, kill me now. Daddy. Daddy Starbucks. Daddy Starbucks. War books or Starbucks. War books, yeah, war. give him war books. I'm yeah. giving him a half a point. Daddy Starbucks. I said Starbucks, war books. Did, yeah, is. war books. Give him a full point. Half points are for losers. Okay, okay one point. Right. Um, who do you want to play with, Adrian or Jeremy? Uh, Jeremy. No. Jeremy it is. Okay. Now, you've a minute to get... Um, as many right as you possibly can. Your one minute starts now. Uh, these are the marks that some women get after pregnancy on their stomach. Um, because stretch marks. Stretch, stretch marks. marks is the correct answer. Adrian Here also has them. Um, oh, this was the ad for uh, Cadbury's Flake. Only the crumbly flake. Chocolate. Give him two points for singing it, Adrian. There oh, you go. Okay, that's there you go. Uh, three, four. Okay, here comes your next one. And this is the name of the, 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 the lion in The Lion Guard or The Lion King, whatever it's called. Uh, Simba. No, his da, or was it his granda? Your man, the old lad. I think he died. Scar. Who? Scar. No, Scar wasn't even he, a, a. He was pushed off the cliff, apparently. Was he? So I'm being told. Oh my god, that's horrific. Um, his name sounds like. You're not to say. He's no, no. Okay, don't say anything. Yeah. Just it. who is Simba's dad in the Lion King? His name sounds like what? It sounds like Mufasa. <laughs> I don't. What's his um, name? Okay, it's uh, it's Mufasa. Mufasa, well done. Give no, him a point. No, I am not accepting that. No, no. <laughs> Give him a different one. Okay, you're okay. not getting that. No. Yeah, here is your next one. This is a woman who uh, flew to America on her own. Amelia Earhart. Well, it could be anybody. I mean, my wife flew to America on her own. What's yeah. the big deal? There's nobody else in the plane. <laughs> well, no, there was other people. You've got five. I'm not giving you that one. That was cheating. I'm not accepting it. Uh, but five is your score, Alan. Well done. All right, t- thanks. Luck, bye, well bye, done bye. to Amelia Earhart, by the way. Why? Flying to America. Was it with Ryan? And who was it with Aer Lingus? She was the first woman to fly the Atlantic. On her own? On her own. On was her that not very dangerous? Of course it was, yeah. And huge, then, huge like risk. And how did she have enough fuel for the flight? It, 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 nobody knew that she actually would until she got there. No way. Yeah. So when she took off from, where did she take off from? It's uh, fascinating, this is. Uh, I don't know which way. Did she, didn't she land in Ireland? Yeah. So she took a, or she took off from America and flew to Ireland yeah. on her own. Yeah. Not Pro- knowing if she had enough fuel to. Yeah. Oh my god. Michelle, who would you like to play our quiz with, Adrian or Jeremy? Jeremy, please. Jeremy, it is. You've a minute on the clock, and here comes your minute. This is something that a woman does to impress a man, and she does it with her eyes. She moves them up blink. and d- she moves them up and down. Yeah, blink. A blink? I don't think you. Yeah, it's like. No, you, it's something you do with the hair on your eyes. Miss Piggy used to do it to Kermit all the time. Um, 
Bye it kind of bite yeah, yeah, that's it. Delicious, that, yeah. that kind of is blinking, by the way. But anyway, yeah, here's your, here's your next one. This is a Dublin expression uh, your parents and your grandparents would use it for a little walk. I'm going for a... I'm not going for a posy. I'm going for a... Mosey. A mosey, yes. A mosey yes. is the right answer. Here's your next one. Amelia Earhart went for a mosey on her own. <laughs> um, this is a this is a mountain in, near Sutton. It's past Sutton. It's right up there. You you go up there to make out. It's not really a mountain. Well, it's not a mountain. It's a little mountain. You go up there to... What? The viewpoint. The viewpoint. The viewpoint. Oh, you know that. Um, it's near the Summers. The Summers pub. I don't know. Gay, Bur- Gay Byrne lives there. Where does Gay Byrne live? Black oh. Rock. Black Rock? <laughs> he does now. He lives in Bottles Bridge or somewhere. Oh, he doesn't he? Live, so that was yeah. a stupid yeah, thing He doesn't live say. where you're talking about anymore. Yeah. The answer was Hoth Head. Oh. Yeah. How did, how did it go for a ranger? <laughs> Grand. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Michelle. You're not going to win the game anyway. That's all I do know. Uh, Alan's still in the lead with the score of five. Um, and Amelia Earhart, yeah? Yep. Tell me about her. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. I was just Googling her here, yeah? Yeah. She um, was the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. So there. Although I already told you that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. have you anything extra to add to that? Okay, she flew... Uh, um, wait, uh, she set off from uh, Newfoundland. <sighs> yeah. She intended to fly to Paris. Yep. Uh, but where, where did she end up? She didn't get to Paris. Uh, she ended up in Culmore, north of Derry. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, so and go. Jason Derulo sang a song about her. Did he? I'm flying solo. I'm flying solo. <laughs> I Remember that? I think that's exactly what that was. I think that's exactly. Jonathan, what was. who do you want to play the quiz with, Adrian or Jeremy? Uh, I'll play with yourself, Adrian. Okay, please. good man. Now five is what we're trying to beat. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you've a minute to do it, and your one minute starts now. Okay, your first one. Uh, this is somebody who's very intoxicated. Okay. And the, skunk. Oh, drunk. Look at that. that. Oh, 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 what happened there? <laughs> What's the God, music what coming from? Sorry, that's the right answer. Drunk as a skunk. Here's your next one. Um, this was a movie starring... Um, was it Clint Eastwood? Yeah, it was, Adrian. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it's about um, bad-looking people and... All oh, right, looking and, uh, people. And nice people. And nice people. Grand Torino. No, no, no. What? <laughs> no, it's Grand Torino. <laughs> and the music is... Wah, wah, wah. The bad and the ugly. Yeah, yeah they got the bad and the ugly. That's the right answer. Here's your uh, next one. He's the alcoholic out of Father Ted. Father Jack. Father Jack is the correct yeah. answer. Here's your next one. Uh, this is somebody who's so annoyed. They're like a um, oh, the oh, uh, shop. So, oh yeah, that's the right answer. Oh Bull in the china shop. Uh, here's your next one. Um, uh, ah, there you go. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what um, uh, what's his name? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson says in uh, Taken. I will find you, and I will. I have a set of skills. Uh, you know, the, so, uh, what sort of accent did Liam Neeson have in that movie? <laughs> Sorry, say it again. I will find you, and I will kill you. That's well, the right answer. It was more. I'll find you, and I'll kill you. You know the way Liam Neeson says he has a particular set of skills. Yeah. Right? Can I tell you one yeah. skill that he doesn't have? Accents. He can, only, he can only do a Balamina accent. He's when he was in Star Wars, he had a Northern Ireland accent. Hiya, Dean, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> learn a bloody accent, Neeson. You fool. Um, fool of a man. Jonathan, you got a same score as Alan. You're on five, so uh, stay listening. Oh, that's brilliant. All right, that's go. brilliant, yep. Yeah. Uh, Brenda. Hello. Brenda, who would you like to play with, Adrian or Jeremy? Jeremy, please. Jeremy, okay. Minute on the clock. You're trying to be five. Let's do it. And your okay. time starts now. Uh, it's your man, Robin Williams, playing the woman. Oh, hello, darling. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire, yes. the correct answer. Here's your next oh, one. Oh, he was a man that had really bendy long arms. Do, 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 do. Inspector Armstrong? Uh, In- Inspector Gadget? Inspector Gadget. Well That's done. That's the right answer. Uh, here's your here's, next one. This is what, uh, what's his name said? Uh, he was the, the newsreader, the sexist newsreader uh, in the movie. Oh. What's the movie called? Um, oh my God. Anchorman. Anchorman. And what did you say? Ron Brogan. Yeah, what did you used to say at the end of every broadcast? And um, it's, it's all, no, it's also a city in California. Stay close oh San Diego. You can't say the answer. I didn't say it. Stay close oh, San Diego. Yeah, stay, stay something, San Diego. Stay classy, San Diego. Well, this is the done. correct answer. Here comes your next one. Uh, this is a old Disney movie. It was sort of like Mary Poppins, but it was about the things at the end of your bed and uh, something that bed you. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Bed knobs and broomsticks. This is the correct answer. Here comes your next one. And um, this is uh, old Michael Jackson's talking about him. I'm talking about the sunshine. Talking about the sunshine? No, he's blaming. <laughs> no, he's blaming it on the sunshine. But he's talking oh, okay. about the man. He's talking about the man. 
The man in the mirror. Man in the mirror is the right answer. Uh, here comes your next one. And this. Oh no! I'm so oh, I've started no. so I've finished. You didn't start anything. I've started so I've finished. These are the little characters that one of them is grumpy and one of them is uh, the seven dwarfs. No, no. <laughs> yes, it is. No, white in the seven dwarfs. No, no, no. It, they're all different shapes. No, 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 no. One no, of them no, has no, a, no, too long. One of them has a bandage no, on no, his head. No, no, no. We've a three-way tie. I'm delighted with this. Oh, well done, Brenda. Uh, you're you. on five as well. Stay on the line there for a second. Please. Let's see. Does Tracy beat this, you? This, Tracy, this is a sham. This quiz. Tracy, who do you want to play with, Adrian or Jeremy? Uh, we go with Jeremy. Thanks. Okay, Come a minute on. on the clock. The minute starts now. And um, this is like a uh, caveman. He's doing something with his hands. He's dragging them along the ground. What is he? Knuckle dragger. Uh, a knuckle, knuckle dragger, dragger is the right answer. Uh, here comes your next one. Um, th- th- these are the, the characters. One of them has a bandage on his head. They all have different uh, Mr. names. Mr. Man. Mr. Man, That's yes. the right answer. And here's your next one. And um, this is, oh my God. Roo, roo, roo. I need a female one. Roo, roo, roo. He's like a, he's like a... <laughs> I need a female. He's ba- no, okay. What what goes rough or rough? Dog. And he's looking for a female dog because he is a dog. A dog in heat. A dog in heat. heat is the correct answer. Here comes your next one. Um, this is a uh, choo choo, and Train. you and you go on as if you you're really mad about the other person. So. The love train. It's love a love train. train. It's the right answer. You're on four. Here comes your next one. Now, I'm not saying this, but some people would call the tattoo on the lower pack back of a woman. They would call oh, it... Tramp stamp. Tramp, tramp stamp is I the didn't right say answer. It. Here comes your uh, next one. And um, this is uh, Mr. Burns' uh, partner in The Simpsons. Oh, Smithers. Smithers. Smithers is the right answer, and you win the game. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations, Tracy. That was you just fine. Your life uh, no, that was six. That was six. That was six. Well done. That makes our life an awful lot. Easier. Easier. Congra- congratulations <laughs> Tracy you've just won yourself you. a 100 euro voucher from Des Kelly Interiors fantastic that's well brilliant done. thanks so much have, have a great weekend enjoy the sunshine you too thank you and uh, all of you have a great weekend and all of you enjoy the sunshine which is where I'm going to now out to the sunshine to a beer garden pathetic loser no better place this is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks remember catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10am 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy 98FM